Okay, bear with me because there's a lot to unpack here. Hey guys, it's Chief from The Effort here to review the Netflix show The Mechanism from the creators of Narcos. So if you're a fan of Narcos, I think you're going to be a fan of this too. I'm going to tread carefully here. The events in this show are loosely based on the real events happening right now. There is a massive Brazilian governmental conspiracy going on that has essentially created a mechanism to keep the rich rich and the poor poor. And where the show shows us starting from one little sliver, one receipt, one piece of paper, one line or whatever, unravels and it's just this bigger, bigger thing that is still ongoing. In fact, when the show was released, more information is being put to light. More players in this massive game are being investigated on and, and, and put to jail. So there is a lot of stuff still happening that are from the situations that the show is based off of. So it's massive, like really massive. So I'm mostly going to stick to just the show itself. But if you want a good explainer video, I would highly recommend going over to Jason Markley on YouTube. He's got a video about the mechanism with a good explainer in it and his own review, of course. I'm going to put the link to that video in the description below so you can check it out. So if you've come to me first and want just that little bit more that ties it more into the real life events, head over to his video. It's really good. But The Mechanism, as a show, eight episodes, really solid, really tight. It's about, as I mentioned, the corruption scandal starts off with a Detective Rufo who finds in a receipt something, a mistake that this bad guy, Abraham, who is kind of the connection to the big oil companies and contractors that are the bigger connection to the bigger players and so on and so forth. And that he thinks is a smoking gun to take this guy out and essentially stop what's going on because you always start off thinking that it's something small and it ends up opening up into something big. Something happens with everything there. We fast forward 10 years. We are now looking at the show from the perspective of Detective Cardoni, his partner. She is awesome. And she takes us through the rest of it with her team and her pursuit to take down Abraham and the more information that comes to light and how to maneuver that while getting in arguments with the DA and her boss, while getting people that are essentially trying to stop her from moving forward because obviously they can tell she's getting close. So they got to put things in place to make sure that she doesn't catch them because billions of dollars are on the line here. And she ends up discovering more and more and more. And it gets to a point where, yeah, no, you can't ignore this. The people cannot ignore this. People need to know about this. And certain players involved make a few mistakes and, you know, it unravels the whole ball of yarn. I really like a lot of what this had to offer. If you're into character-driven and dialogue-driven shows, this is definitely for you. This doesn't have a lot of action. In fact, I don't think it has any action. There's no gun fights really you know i mentioned that it was close to narcos but it's close to narcos and the authenticity and the feel of it versus the actual action that's in narcos and this one which is very low to the ground feels very realistic there aren't those over the top things that are going on uh, again character based dialogue based types of shows which i really like and when they're done well like this one big thumbs up characters in this are really good specifically cardoni rufo and Ibrahim. I really like the character of Ibrahim. Even though that dude's a piece of shit. And everybody he worked with, he ended up rolling over on. And you're kind of thinking to yourself, like, why would anybody trust this guy? But he kind of has a way of bringing people in. And even as a character, the actor that portrayed him was extremely charming and endearing. And you're drawn into him in the show. Don't know how the guy is in real life. But in the show, I was like, yeah, I'd probably make some do something stupid and hang out with this dude cardoni herself very strong very intelligent when one of one guy shows up named guillaume into her thing and he's just like this whiz accountant she accepts his work because he's extremely good and extremely smart but they don't allow her to be dumb and just brush it off for some s massive reveal later on what they end up doing is have her internally in her in own internal monologue and in the voiceover you know, question the things that he does, not to him, but it is weird that a guy showed up and he's, you know, wanting to help just to be a good person. This is a world where very few people are trustworthy and can trust because of the nature of everything. So for all she knew that this guy was being put in to do one thing and end up doing another, or, you know, it could be a big mistake, you know, you'll have to find out. So they did a great job with her. Uh, Rufo, the character, a, a character with bipolar disorder, plays that off really well. 
vulnerability and their strength in him and just an exhaustion you can just tell this character is exhausted from everything and his family's exhausted from everything going on so and the actor did a really good job with it across the board all the acting is good cinematography is great we're going from rio de janeiro sao paulo brasilia caritiba in brazil looks really good shot beautifully you feel like you're in there as i said writing's really tight and for something so convoluted it is very difficult to put it into something cohesive and the fact that they were able to present a show that outlines the general crux of what's been going on, some real characters, some not, I understand on a very low level what has been going on. Now, it requires a lot more research to really get it, but I felt that someone that had no idea about what's been going on in Brazil, seeing this, getting a decent understanding, and I'm like, okay, I think I got a small little tidbit in the whole scope of the entire thing. So I would consider that a plus. For someone that has to read subtitles, like I always do, there was a lot of exposition in those earlier episodes. And you do have to set up a lot. But we're talking three episodes out of the eight that has a lot of voiceover, has a lot of dialogue. And I did have to kind of, I did have to rewind and reaffirm certain things that were said because I'm, I'm sitting there following and reading the whole thing and I'm like oh crap I think I must have missed something because it's already on to the next screen before I can finish so there was a lot of information packed in those first three episodes it may require as I did in most cases rewinding and taking a look at something and that's just the nature of something so convoluted and so grand in its scope as this it's really tough to condense something like this so on the one hand i'm putting it in the bad section just because it was just a negative for me just sitting there having to see everything mind you if i spoke spanish i would have no issue but even then just listening with the voiceover there is a lot of voiceover going on and then the only other negative there's a couple things they did with some characters which i don't want to say because i don't want to spoil it that they almost did it a little too little too late and with one specific character, they did something which you will get, I promise you, that I kind of wish they would have built up a little bit more towards. And given more of that aha moment. But very minor. It didn't really take away from anything. I know with something like that's fictionalized like this, they do have to introduce certain things. But again, it did do a couple, it did add a few things that I almost felt were unnecessary and almost but didn't sabotage some of the way that I perceived some of our characters. But that's just... A personal thing with me, you may have not have gotten any of it. The Mechanism. Big, big show with big implications on a foundation of just a mind-blowing situation that I almost feel like an idiot for not knowing earlier on, but I'm glad I came across this so I can read up on it and know more about it because you need to do that. Please take a look at the show just for the whole stylized purpose of delivering the basic information. And then I implore you, you know, take a look in the news, take a look at articles going out, all sorts of stuff like that. So I would definitely recommend this to a lot of people. Yes, it is a little bit tough to piece everything together early on, but it does end up putting itself together in and around that fourth episode in a way that just kind of moves boom, boom, boom. Cause you know, everything else works out really well. And you got to commend the people that made this because for something that big to eight episodes is nigh impossible because there's so much here. But I felt they did a really good job and it's definitely worth it. So that's my quick review of The Mechanism. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen it. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? All that good stuff because I'd love to hear from you either way. You can find me on Twitter at the F Words G. You can email us at the F Word Podcast at gmail.com. Make sure you're following Entertain Facts on Instagram. And until next time, I'm G. <sighs> And I'm out.